Hi guys, Eric from Dumb Game Dev, and today we're going to be talking about Building Crafter. Now, I've just started using this in my project, and I do use things like Pro Builder and stuff like that more recently, but I found that Building Crafter is a great tool for building buildings specifically, and if they're not, um, say, Doom style type buildings or this sort of stuff, if you're talking about more traditional buildings such as offices, hospitals, uh, houses, and things like that. So there is one little um, hitch here with uh, Building Crafter when it comes to baked lighting, and we're going to look at that right now. And then we're going to look at one potential way to fix that, or at least that I've started using. So we'll see how that goes. So I'm, I'm just going to build a room with Building Crafter here. And if you notice, my hierarchy is looks a little bit different than yours. I've got a manager installed here called uh, Enhanced Hierarchy and I can disable it here but what it does is it just allows me to enable or disable uh, the view or the display of certain um, objects in the scene more quickly so I don't have to go to the inspector and turn them all off and on so let's get started I'm just gonna throw down a cube and uh, set it as my plane basically and I'm gonna throw a material on there some giant grass or something is fine here. And then we are going to put in a um, building crafter object. So I already have the asset installed. To do that, I'm just going to go game object, create building crafter, create building crafter game object. Okay. And what it's going to do is just add this little uh, extra game object here to my hierarchy. And then from there in the inspector, I'm going to create, choose Create New Building Blueprint. And it's going to create a new building here on the hierarchy. So I'm just going to call my new building something like Test Building, just to uh, so it's not named the default. OK, and then what I'm going to do is just add a couple of, just maybe even one room. And it's a little hard to see, but if you just click on the screen, you can drag out a building and so there it's already generated it it has no walls yet the next thing I'm going to do is just add a nice empty door so we can let some light in and the type of door I'm just going to have a um, tall open door come on now Okay, so that's it. Then once that's done, I'm just going to click Generate All. And it, you saw it slowed down there for a minute, and to um, make things a little bit better, you probably want to go to your lighting and turn off the Auto Generate Lighting. So that should speed things up. Now one little quirk I've noticed right away is that when you build your buildings, as you can see here, we can see the plane through it. It, um, there I don't know what the correct word is, but they're cross-sectioning each other. They're right on top of each other. So what you want to do is go to your test building, or whatever your building is. Go to your inspector, and mine's set at 2.11. I'm going to set it at 2.12. And so now what I've done is just lifted it just the tiniest bit off of my uh, ground here. So now, as you can see, the problem is fixed. Now, it looks pretty good straight off the bat. There's a tiny bit of light leak in the back corner here, but... Um, this scene right now is all using real-time lighting. So in my games, at least what I'm working on now is for VR, so it uses a lot of baked lighting. So if I go to the directional light here, I'll leave that real-time. But we'll go to the main camera. Actually, I don't even know to go, need to go to the main camera. I'll go to the lighting tab here. So in my lighting tab, my skybox is set to real-time. So I'm going to set that to baked. And I'm not going to compress these. I'm going to just turn down my light baking here so that it um, goes faster for us. Okay, so I just set my real time lighting to 0.1, my baked lighting to 10, so that should still be fine. So we'll hit build. It says I need to save the scene, so I'll just save it over my test. And now it's done uh, baking the light. Now, as you can see, it leaves a sort of splotchy color 
on it. It's just splotched over my texture and even inside as well where the um, baked lighting happens. You can see that it's splotched out. So this is no good. And so I've been told this is an error in the um, way that it generates the materials. And so I'm not really sure how all that works. I'm not a super technical person for these things. However, I did work out a um, quick solution to this. And what I'm going to do is use uh, Mesh Baker, which is an awesome um, asset. And I use this quite a bit for a lot of different things. So I already had it. I can find it here in my assets. I have a lot of assets here. Um, okay, here it is. It's Mesh Baker. So I'm using Mesh Baker 3. And I already have this imported as well. And to use Mesh Baker, there's lots of different ways to use it. I'm just going to show you a really quick way from that I use it to set it up. So I'm just going to add an empty game object. And you can call this whatever you want, but I'm just going to call it Baker. And on the mesh, on this Baker empty game object, I'm going to add a component. And you can just type in Mesh Baker. And I'm just going to add the Mesh Baker component. So it will bring up the screen, which if you've never used this before, it might seem really confusing. But I'm just going to show you a quick way to, to do this. Now, we have the test building here that we built. And as you see, it can still be re-edited. And it created a bunch of different um, game objects inside. And these game objects have their own materials and stuff like that. So we need to basically bake each one that has its own material. And I'm just going to do one to show you. We could bake them all together, but I'm not going to bother. So let's just choose, say, this um, outside wall on floor one, because this is the main one that we're looking at. So this is the one we want to bake. So I'm going to go back to the mesh baker, and I'm going to click this little lock button here so I don't accidentally navigate away from the inspector. So as you can see, it stays. Now, on the mesh baker, we want to have the number of items we want to bake was just one. So I'm going to set it to one and hit enter. And now I just drag the element or the game object into this element box. So we're going to use the outside wall floor one, drag it in there. And now here's the little thing we need to change. So under the light mapping UV options, we want to change it to generate new UV2 layout. We want to generate new UVs. I'm just going to leave everything as a default. You can play around with this. I'm going to hit bake and that's it. So now what it's done is added an extra game object here called combined mesh mesh baker and it has a child object and it's a child object that I want. So I'm just going to drag this out for example. I can delete the parent object. So now what I'm going to do is I have this outside wall from the original um, building crafter and I'm just going to turn it off, disable it so we can't see it anymore. And now when you create the mesh baker object it actually puts it in the exact same location so you can see it doesn't look any different but it is actually there. We'll just unlock this so we can see it. And what I will do now is just re-bake my lighting, rebuild my lighting. And you can see that all the splotchiness has been fixed. So if I disable this and re-enable the outside wall, well I guess you can't see it because I had it turned off when I baked my lighting, but you would see that it's still splotchy. So you don't need to delete this outside wall, you can just keep it there in case you need to re-edit this building. and. Um, you basically can do the same process with each part of this as necessary. You can also um, bake them all together using Mesh Baker. There is one strange thing here. Inside the room there is this building filler, so I'm not actually sure the function of this. Maybe the um, asset author can let me know. But it adds this filler, which you don't need to bake. You can delete that. And so that's it. That's how we do it.